Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just a couple of goofballs in love that love doing some trailer reactions together. We do. And it's Triple Trailer Tuesday, people. So we're featuring a new franchise on this channel for us. It's uh, Gears of War. It's been asked for a lot to check out some Gears of War. We had some issues we had to get around for some copyrighted music, so we couldn't check out all the Gears of War trailers. Uh, so we tried to figure out how we're, how we're going to cover this and how we're going to start in on this franchise. Um, so it's a special Triple Trailer Tuesday because we're checking out Three trailers from Gears of War 1, 2, and 3. Ooh. And we're checking out three intros for Gears of War 1, 2, and 3. So it's like a triple, triple, triple trailer Tuesday. <laughs> it's like triple trailer squared. Yeah, but there you go. That's what it is. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. Are you ready? Our, our first little intro to Gears of War. Let's see what this is about. It's, po it's supposedly couch co-op, so. Ooh, okay. I know. Whoa. Yeah. Ooh. Monsters are huge. Such a terrifying visual. Welcome to Gears of War. <laughs> Seriously. This is gonna be awesome. <laughs> the coalition. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. For a time, the humans of Sera knew the illusion of peace. Until. Super delayed reaction from the couple sitting at the table. Their misguided attempts at retaliation were only leading them ever closer to extinction. They had thought us crippled by their weapons of mass destruction. 
But to survive is to endure and prosper. That thing is so crazy. Have most certainly survived. Jacinto now stands as the last bastion of humanity. A final desperate defense in the face of impossible odds. In a way, I pity them. But humanity, as always, brought this war upon itself. Stroud? That doesn't look like Stroud. I'm assuming Stroud is a dude. And that definitely looks like a so baby. So this is how it ends. Yep. The daughter. Today, the coalition of ordered governments ceased to exist. Chairman Prescott? He abandoned us some time ago. We can't pretend we're a government any longer. It all began on E-Day, when the Locust emerged and overran us. We tried to stop them with a damn like kind of shot. Incinerating our own cities, killing millions of our own people. But the Locust kept coming. The survivors from the Hammer Strikes, the Stranded, didn't want anything to do with a government that sacrificed civilians. And after 15 years of fighting, we even had to sacrifice the last human stronghold, Jacinto. We sank the city and finally stopped the Locust Army. The war was finally over. Reduced to refugees, we found a remote island where we could start again. Hmm. But some things could never be rebuilt. A broken heart, a broken mind. Then a new enemy came after us, even worse than the last, the land. Now they're spreading across Sarah. Ah, they've got the flu. Everything in their path. We've held them off as long as we can. We're out of options. Our only hope now is to abandon the island and split up. Some of us are going to live on the remaining ships. Others want to risk going back to the mainland. Godspeed, Colonel. This is the former Lieutenant Anya Stroud, signing off. Now hear this. All hands prepare for leaving harbor. I guess we're all stranded now. Oh, cool shot! Okay, so, uh, that looked... Intense for sure for uh, Kids of War. Um, I don't know what you think. It kind of struck me as like Starship Troopers meets Halo. Okay. Just in the sort of like the giant 
bug type monsters was very reminiscent of starship troopers yeah but i don't know the sort of like tactical element and fighting style of like getting behind mm. something shooting getting the the big monsters just made me think of halo probably because that's what we're playing, playing right, right now. now yeah but i i found it very enjoyable i think i am curious to know more about the backstory like what the hell <laughs> <laughs> i mean who are these giant bug aliens and where do they come from and why are they here? Um, it kind of almost seemed like War of the Worlds where they were yes. here the whole time because they came up from, it came up from the ground. And it's just like, you know, it had always, always been their world. Or, or not like always, but like they've been there for a long time just quietly waiting for their moment. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So um, it, it, I got a little bit of that vibe and, um, you know, some Independence Day yep. and uh, definitely has me curious uh, to learn more about it, about the different characters. And so were we right in the fact that that was the, like, was that the daughter of the main guy in the first two series? That's what it seemed like. Great question for the community. I have no, no, no idea. No, 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 no. I, You need to tell me if that's right or not. <laughs> um, I, it also, I couldn't help but think during this, which I actually started to think, I think, more when I see these sort of post-apocalyptic end of the world yeah. type material what would you rather be do you want to be the person taken out in, like the first wave or do you want to be the person who tries to survive um survivor because i think we all think of ourselves as survivor and we all think yeah man i'm daryl i'm the badass <laughs> i'm Maggie. i'm gonna go all the way and like yes yes we all like yes that's obviously you want to live and yeah. therefore you want to be these amazingly cool people who are super badass and navigate this crazy world. But some of us gotta be the zombies. <laughs> well, or not just that, but just like, well, I can go out in the first wave. I can, I can live. Can you not think like that? Can you please not like think like that when the, <laughs> the end of the world happens? No, but I'm just thinking like, you know, when giant bug aliens are taking over the world, I think I would rather go out in the first wave in the blast. Like those lovely people who are drinking wine at the cafe table and just got blown away, not knowing what hit him. Well, let's that's, talk about that's it. That's not the worst case scenario compared to being eaten by a bug alien. I think I might want to go out with a glass of wine in my hands and just not know what hit me. That's all I'm saying. No, um, I just, uh, no, I think like, I want to get you like a t-shirt with just like, like you like, like sprawled out with like X's over your eyes and a glass of rosé and just like. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's, that's, that's going to be how it is. That's going to be the, that's gonna be the caption. That's going to be the caption. Like, okay. okay. Okay, I had my rosé. Um, <laughs> rosé all day, people. Rosé yeah. all day. Let's talk about those people, first of all. So, <laughs> you know, they start to hear some noise or whatever, and they're still, like, they're still chatting away. And then all of a sudden, like, the building starts to crumble, and they look up and I'm like, whoa, dude. <laughs> like a Keanu Reeves moment. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, 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 that building doesn't normally crumble like that. Then all of a sudden, they get, like, blown back and everything, and, um... You know, I mean, like, once the building starts to crumble, like, I mean, I don't know, grab and run? Like, I mean, look, look, come on, people! Um, in all fairness, Ken would be the survivor in the end of the world scenario, and the reason I know this... I was going to tell the same story, but you go first. Oh, no, you can tell it. No, 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 no. Because <laughs> then it seems like I'm just talking myself up. I'll let you tell. <laughs> no, the reason I know this is because the first time that we experienced our first big California earthquake... Yeah. It was very early in the morning. It was like, like 5.36 a.m. in the morning. And it was so big that like it woke us out of our sleep because our bed was shaking and our apartment was shaking. And go ahead. You, no. can, you can tell the my part of it and I'll tell the you part of it. I was going to say the sound of it was just like, mm, like you could yeah. hear the earth moving. And we've had a couple of earthquakes since then. I've never heard that sound yeah. before uh, during an earthquake. Like, Sometimes, it, like when you're in an earthquake, it kind of feels like you're like on like a ship or something like that, like it, like or like I don't know, like it, it waves. That's the most recent one we felt out here. Felt like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, it felt like you were on like a what? Like the world became a waterbed. Um, and that was kind of a, a little crazy. But so we're there and it, in it, bed. It, in bed. It's very early in the morning. It's in the summer, so the sun is already up and everything. Yeah, it's about 70, 74, 73 degrees. Um, it's uh, I'm early saying May. I'm saying the sun is up because my memory is looking out the window, so I'm giving context for that. Go ahead. Yeah, she, she wakes up and she's like, oh my God, is this an earthquake? 
And meanwhile, I get up there and I'm like, I'm arms around everybody. I, I'm here, I got my arms around the dogs, I got my arms around her, and it's just like, okay, let's just, like, we're gonna just, we're just gonna stay here, and no, no, we're not gonna move. And like, now we were in a doorway, I mean, the ceiling could have collapsed on us, I guess, and we could have died, so I don't know if that was the best thing to do. Like, um, so I don't know if my survival instincts are that great, but my, my instincts were, grab the people, grab, grab what I love, and keep it safe, and like, let's all, let's, let's all stick together. Um, so the zombies can eat us together. <laughs> Meanwhile, my reaction was just lean up and put one elbow behind me, and I'm like, lean up, and I'm like, whoa, look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she's like, whoa, look at that. And she grabs her rosé, and she's like, oh I my god. I did not have rosé by the bed. It's she days. always had by her bed, in on her nightstand, is always chapstick and a glass of rosé. <laughs> you are making me a terrible <laughs> example. The chapstick <laughs> is correct. The rosé is a lie. So whenever she wants to, when it looks like feeling chaps, she goes she just puts it on, and whenever she wants to have a drink, she just grabs it. <laughs> I know the rosé is a lie because nobody else in my household likes rosé except me. I'm the only one, and so we never have rosé, and that right. is my it's sad story. Right, it's been a Anyways, uh, tangent over. You have to let us know what you thought about these uh, Gears of War trailers down below in the comments. And now that we're starting to get into the franchise, all right. So it's you know it takes a while sometimes for a franchise to get featured on this channel. Once we do, once we start to get a little bit more hooked on it, uh, you know, suggest some more videos for us to check out. And yes, why we should check them out, um, what you think we'd like about them. And just keep in mind our reaction for this Triple Trailer Tuesday for Gears of War uh, Ultimate Edition and 2 and 3, the trailers and the intros. It is definitely not definitive.